unlike the Great Depression, where you had economic issues that led to this, we closed down the economy. So it's, it's, it wouldn't be a surprise if you closed down the economy that in half of the workforces, half the people didn't work. And, and that's why we're very focused on rebuilding this economy and getting it back to where it was. This is no fault of American business. This is no fault of American workers. This is a result of a virus. And that's why the president and I were determined to put together the largest economic program ever to help American workers get through this. I think that uh, many people would like to just pause for a moment and take a look at the uh, economic impact of this uh, massive assistance program, which is the greatest in the United States history. Uh, that's all that's being said. Uh, I, I do think there are issues here, and there are probably going to be some agreements and disagreements. Uh, each side has its own positions. So it's not that we're not talking. We are. It's just informal at this stage. And really, after all this uh, assistance, let's have a look at what the impact is in at least the next couple of weeks for the economy. We're watching what happens both to economic activity and frankly to the path of the disease, the disease as that happens. And so that we expect that very quickly we'll have a picture about you know, how quickly we, we can recover, whether we might have to slow the recovery back down because the disease is spreading and so on. And I think that it's just premature given that the $9 trillion of aid that passed in the last three phases, given that that is still out there and there's still a bunch of it that's gonna be delivered over the next month, we think that we have a little moment, the luxury of a moment to learn about what's going on so that the next step that